What's up guys, this is Dennis from SEO Bots, and in this video I'm going to show you how to extract contact data information from a list of websites. And by contact data, I mean phone numbers, emails, and links to social profiles. Before I continue, please like this video to support the channel. And if you would like to see more bot tutorials in the future, go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. To start using the bot, the first thing you need to do is sign up for SEO bots. I will put the link in the description. Now let's go and click on this tools for outreach category link and finally click this phone, email and contact scraper bot. You can read the documentation in order to understand how the bot works in detail, but I'm just going to show you this extracted data example. So you would have an idea how the bot works and what it returns. As you can see, I provided a bunch of URLs and the bot went onto these websites and extracted uh, different types of contact information. Uh, for example, email, phone, um, what looks like a phone, but the bot is not sure if it's a phone. So it's up to you to decide when you get the file, if that's a real phone number or not and a bunch of links to social networks. Looks easy enough. Let's click the start bot button and uh, try using the bot ourselves. First thing which you will need to do is name your job. This is an optional step. You don't have to do it, but I'm just going to name it um, contact scraping demo. And now let's select the options. I'll keep the one page checkbox selected uh, because the more pages you're trying to scrape, the more time it will take. And I don't want this demo to last forever. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And finally, you'll need to select what kind of data you would like to extract. So emails, phone numbers, TikTok, uh, channel links, Twitter accounts, YouTube accounts, Facebook, LinkedIn, WhatsApp numbers, um, and uh, links to Instagram accounts. Uh, I'm just going to keep the email and phone numbers for this demo, but you can um, go crazy and select whatever you want. Finally, you need to paste the URLs to the websites that the bot needs to visit and extract the data from. So in one of my previous videos, I was uh, using another bot called Google First Results Search Scraper to extract a bunch of links to universities in Texas and uh, I'm just going to open that spreadsheet and copy these four links from that spreadsheet into this input form right here. You can schedule if you would like to start the bot immediately or schedule it uh, to start in the future. I'm going to go with the first option and I will disable notifications because this should not take a lot of time of waiting. Looks good. Let's click the start this bot button. You can see that the job was created and is now transitioned into the active state. As you can see, the bot returned the data almost immediately, which is pretty cool. So let's click the view data button and see what we have. Now you can see that we have the origin URL, the visited URL and uh, the data in these columns. So emails, phones and uh, what um, may be a phone number. Keep in mind that the bot only visited the first page of each website and not every website has all the information, all the contact information published on the first page of their website. So when you're launching the script, make sure to select more than one page unless you really know what you're doing. Because there's, a, there's always a contact us page. Sometimes people publish their contact information on the about us page, on the info page. So the bot sometimes really needs some time to visit a few pages and collect the data from each of those pages and one page won't work as well. Well, that's the end of the demo. Make sure to like this video to support the channel. Make sure to subscribe to our channel if you would like to see more content like this one. And um, I'll see you next time.